This is the earliest I've been up in so long, and I'm so happy. Look at my eyes. They hurt. Ow. Oh my God. Being awake this early on a weekend feels really good and it's kind of making me want to never go out again and just wake up early on weekends and just like have the most productive weekends ever is that gonna happen probably fucking not but it's happening today because at 10 a.m we have a breakfast in new york city to celebrate sam's launch of her new necklace that she's launching with every jewels which is so exciting and i'm so excited to celebrate it with her and i'm so proud of her so i thought I might as well vlog today if i'm waking up this early and having a fun day i'll bring you guys along i'm probably gonna stay in the city for a little bit i don't know okay i need to wash off myself tan right now so Let's see how we can talk later. And I have more going on up here right now. It's kind of dead. Who's in there, babe? <gasps> Hello. There's two birds that come and they hang out with Boo and Frankie in the morning. And they like sing and it's so cute. I need to get like a bird feeder or something. Because they love watching the birds. It's so cute. Okay. It's time to get ready. My face is so fucking puffy right now. I don't know if there's any coming back from this, but we're gonna try. I also don't really know what I'm wearing today, so we need to figure that out too. I was trying to figure it out last night and I just did not know what to wear at all. We're going to breakfast at Nomo Soho and I love Nomo's breakfast food. It's really good. I told my friends that I would go out tonight, but low key, I kind of just want to stay in because I feel like this is going to really fix my sleep schedule. It's been fucked for the longest now and just like all over the place. So I feel like if I just don't go out tonight and wake up early again tomorrow, my sleep schedule is going to be perfect for this coming week. So low key, we'll see what happens, but... It'd be really smart if I just did not go out. Okay, this rat's nest is gonna be really scary. It's like three day old hair, but for some reason, it looks like it's like 85 day old hair. So I told myself I was gonna stop using heat on my hair, and I just like have not listened to myself whatsoever. This stuff I'm pretty sure was literally discontinued. But it's so good, I can't stop using it. It's the Batiste Dark Hair Dry Shampoo. I don't know if it's actually discontinued or like got called back or whatever, but it's like the best dry shampoo I've tried. And it doesn't have any of the white residue, which is really nice on my dark hair. So I still use it. I just was trying on outfits really quick. Um, and I hate everything that I've put on, so I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanted to try to take a picture in Soho, but I don't know because I literally hate every outfit that I've put on. So I'm gonna try to do my makeup quick and then reassess the outfits. Right now I have on this really cute top from White Fox and my Revolve jeans, but I don't know what jacket to wear, which is my dilemma. I really want summer so bad because I'm done trying to style winter outfits like i'm over it and i do love coats i do love dressing for winter but like when i'm trying to throw on a cute fit really quick it's kind of hard actually it might be warm today i don't really know okay i'm ready this is the fit i ended up going with I was hating everything that I was putting on. I'm PMSing right now and literally it takes me, I just bit my tongue as I was saying that. It literally takes me 
so long to pick out an outfit when I'm PMSing for some reason. I just hate everything that I put on. So yeah, but I actually like this fit. I think it's cute. I have on this aloe bodysuit with these white fox pants and this jacket's from Cha Cha. And I have on my donks. I'm just probably sunglasses. And then I'm gonna use my Fendi bag. So yeah, I'm gonna go right now. Carly's on her way right now and she's gonna park by me and then we're gonna drive into the city together. I'm gonna drive. I'm about to go to my car right now and I want to go to Acme really quick and get some flowers. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm really happy. I'm running exactly on time and I just feel on top of the fucking world. So let's go get our flowers. <laughs> Nomo. We had the best time ever and I'm so happy I have my necklace on. I'm so proud of Sam. She sold out so you guys can't even get it. Actually, I think you can. Pre... What's it called? Pre-sale? Pre-order? Pre-order. You can pre-order it. But um, now Carl and I are gonna go to a jewelry store that has vintage jewelry and I'm actually really, really, really excited and I want to buy something even though I shouldn't because I told myself I was gonna save money so I can become rich. But, you, you know? say that like an hour ago. Yeah, but you know what? Cute jewelry calls my name and maybe I'll have to buy it. Well, I don't know, I can get this one a friend. There's birds in here. They're outside of the cage. I'm so confused. Hmm. Okay. The jewelry store. I did not buy anything, but Carly did. That place is really expensive. <laughs> the lady, I don't know, it was very overwhelming. I couldn't even look at anything. But I think she gets very stressed. No, I could tell. No, thanks. No. I could tell she was like tweaking out. Like she was no, not she having was. it. We're going to the car now. Bye. There she is. Finding street parking in New York City means that it's the best day in the universe. Perfect. How'd they know? How'd they know? Guys. Happy. We are going. Can I show them what I got? Oh yeah, give a little haul. Carly got a really cute necklace. She already has one from this place. Yeah, so I just got a pendant to add on to the little stack. And it's so cute. I honestly would have gone something, but it was very overwhelming. I feel like you need to go into that store with like knowing what you like, want. YouTube days. <laughs> it's like a little zodiac thing. I wanted so this heart thing, but she had to order it. I like the heart a lot. But so all of them together is gonna look so that. good. Yeah. So now we're gonna go back to Jersey and the other day I drove past this vintage store in Hoboken and I really wanna go. So we're gonna go check it out and see if it's cool or not. Or yeah, cause it's a really nice day out today. Like really yeah. nice, it's winter today, so. I love this winter moment. Yeah, my lip liner looks terrible, but same. <laughs> we're gonna go. I literally looked in the lens of my <laughs> I just got home, it's been such a good day so far. It's just so nice out and like warm. And I'm just, I was so happy. But I bought one thing at the vintage store. It's called Vintage on First in Hoboken. It's such a cute little store. But I got this sweatshirt. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. It has Tweety Bird on it. And I just really liked it and I felt like I needed it. So I got it. I feel like I need to clean it before I wear it, but. I want to try it on. I looked at it and I was like, I wish that it was bigger, but it's an extra large. So I don't know how much bigger it could be. Oh, this is so cute. No, I'm so happy I got this. Look at how cute it is. It fits perfectly. Wait, I love Tweety Bird. She's so cute. I love how vintage it looks. I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow. I'm going to the city with my mom. This is adorable. Okay. Love it. I think I'm starting to crash, but I'm trying to keep myself awake. I'm heating up vegan chicken nuggets right now for lunch. Um, 
I have a nail appointment in an hour. I'm just so tired. I haven't woken up at 7 a.m. in kind of a minute. I've been sleeping in so much lately. I feel like in the winter, I just like can't get myself to wake up early, but I really hope that this fixes my sleep schedule because I feel so good when I wake up early. But yeah, anyway, cleaning up my chicken nuggets. That's my lunch. I was gonna make something more intricate, but it's not, it's not happening. Maybe I'll cook myself dinner. That's a little bit more fancy, but This is the lunch for the day. <laughs> Hopefully this holds me over until um, dinner time. I'm so exhausted. I literally feel like I'm hallucinating right now. Bon appetit. <laughs> I just changed. This is the fit to go get my nails done. It's from Boys Lie. I don't know if they still sell it. It's kind of old, but it literally has been one of my favorite sets that I own for the longest time. And it like still is, I think number one. I just think it's so cute. So I'll try to find links to it down below if I can but I've been trying to decide what nails I want to get right now I have to leave in a little bit and I'm so indecisive today I literally can't decide for the life of me what to get but I'll show you guys my options so first we have this it's like a chrome French which I think is really pretty but the issue with this is that the place I go to is annoying and they charge extra for chrome and extra for French which is just so annoying so that's the only downside of that and i have chrome right now so i'm like do i want to get chrome again kind of no like i feel like no but it also is very different these are the next ones they're like a sparkly french i think these are cute and then the last one which i'm like kind of i think leaning the most towards these because i've never gotten these nails it's black french actually i probably have gone black french but i really like it so i might do that i'm in the mood for french if you can't tell I just don't know which variation, but I'm kind of leaning towards the black. I just got home. Well, actually, that's literally such a lie. I got home like an hour and a half, almost two hours ago. I'm lying to you. Um, my nails came out really cute. I'm glad that I went with the black tips. Now I am about to take my makeup off. I am so fucking tired and I left my headband in my closet. Hold, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I need this makeup off my face. It's Saturday night and I'm not going out or doing anything, which I'm so freaking happy about. I really just want to chill i have a lot of laundry to do so i think i'm gonna just do laundry probably smoke and watch tv that's all i want to do on this saturday night and tomorrow i want to wake up early and just get shit done i honestly enjoy the weekend so much more that i just stay home at night and like don't go out and stay out like late at night i don't know i just like enjoy myself way more not being hungover, not doing anything like that. I actually feel like I'm just in a way better mindset to start the new week when I take my weekends to just like get things done for me and relax and like clear my head and get a little bit of work done and just like, I don't know. And still do fun things like this morning was so so fun last night i got dinner with my mom and my brother which was really nice so like i like still doing things obviously on the weekend but like not partying is the key to my success i think because if i go out on like saturday night i'm still recovering on like monday and tuesday mentally so it's like not really worth it i think for dinner i'm gonna make a like makeshift chipotle bowl i've been doing this a lot and i'm gonna show you guys how i make it it's so freaking good it's really really simple also this coming week i am starting my meal prep again i don't know if you guys saw but a couple weeks ago in the vlogs i was trying out this meal prep and i really liked it but the food like went bad before i was able to finish it all and it did say to freeze it after three days which i did but it just still like kind of grossed me out because there were a lot of vegetables and they just like smelt really funky after having them frozen and it just like i don't know i just prefer it to be fresh so i was kind of turned off from that then i realized they actually offer this option where you can get the food delivered like separately like i'll get like the first three days of meals together and then they'll come back and like deliver the rest so it's all really fresh which i prefer that so that's what i'm trying this coming week which i'm so freaking excited for because i did really like it and it was having me eat really healthy, which I need because I really don't like talking about weight at all. And I really 
am okay with like my body and everything but i definitely have gained a little bit of weight in the past like year or two and i just want to feel better like i feel like i don't feel like i'm my healthiest self right now and i really want to get back to feeling like my healthiest version of myself so i feel like this will really really help it's the like lean plan like they have a meal plan if you're trying to lean out and then they have a meal plan if you're trying to bulk up so i did the lean one so it's like all really healthy and you get all your nutrients and stuff so i'm really excited i think it's gonna be really good for me so yeah that's the update with that but for now tonight I'm gonna make myself this dinner so that's the vibes I never really like to talk about my weight or like anything like that because I know it's such a sensitive subject and I definitely struggle with body image myself and I just feel like I just don't like talking about it because I know that like certain things can trigger people and I don't know but I feel like at the same time it is something a lot of girls in my age group struggle with so i want to be like open about that and yeah it's like a really fucking hard thing especially being a girl in your 20s it's just tough but yeah the main reason that i do want to like start this like healthier lifestyle is because i just want to feel healthier like i just don't feel like my healthiest self right now so yeah that's the tea that's the update on my life i'm on a health journey right now i'm trying to just become like the most like healthy and mentally stable version of myself. We transported to my closet and I want to try this new mask. I got it at the outset event the other day. Look at how sleek this packaging is. I'm really, really excited. It's a purifying blue clay mask. Look at how satisfying. I love trying things for the first time. Like the first dip into the product is the best. I have so many fun skincare products and I feel like I never try any of them because it's all so messy. I really need to organize my vanity really desperately. It's bad. This mask feels actually really nice. Ah, I got it all over me. Perfect. That's awesome. I was supposed to hang out with a boy tonight. I canceled on him. I just like couldn't be bothered. No offense to boy. I just really, I just don't have it in me. I think getting to know people in that way is one of the most exhausting things. And that might sound fucking rude, but it's just like a lot of effort. And I don't feel like putting effort into anything <laughs> other than like bettering my life and like working on myself right now, which I think is honestly really good. I feel like for a while, my main concern, not even, not my main concern, but like for a while, I did care about like boys a little too much. And now that I like really don't, I, I feel very empowered and I feel like this is just my time to work on myself because I also feel like for a while I was really struggling after like a certain situation with a guy that really hurt me. Like I feel like I was just struggling with like my self-worth and like the way that I viewed myself after that and just like a bunch of shit. And now I'm finally just like so genuinely happy and I don't think about that and like whatever and I'm like actually just like working on myself and like okay boo hey girl um but i feel like since i am in this like era i should just like embrace it while i'm in it do really said not said i amanda shut up but i do feel as though i should embrace this time while i'm in it and whenever like the right one walks into my life i think i'll know until then i don't want to get to know anyone anyway this face mask looks awesome i love it okay while i'm waiting for this to work its magic i'm gonna throw in some laundry what a fun night. <laughs> So I'm about to make myself dinner right now and I'm going to tell you how I make it, not show you because I think it would be actually embarrassing to be like, hey, this is how I heat up my Trader Joe's food. Also, my fucking 
washer machine is very fucking loud, so just ignore that. But this is so yummy. I recently discovered this at Trader Joe's. It's the chicken asada. It's made with grilled chicken, poblanos, red peppers, and onions. And it's so fucking good. It comes with two servings. Basically, I just heat it up in the microwave because it takes two to two and a half minutes. And if I put it in the oven, it would take up to 20 minutes. And I don't have time for that right now because it is 9.30 and I'm exhausted. But it's really, really good. And I basically just cut up the chicken into small pieces because I don't like big pieces of chicken. And then I heat it up. And then I I have leftover rice from when I got Mexican the other night, so I'm going to mix it with that. If I didn't have that leftover though, I would be making the Trader Joe's Spanish style rice. This rice is so tasty, I really like it. And I just mix it with the chicken and make it like a burrito bowl situation. So that's really good. And then I'm just going to take some pico and mix it in there and some shredded cheddar cheese a little bit. And then I have these Trader Joe's whole wheat flour tortillas. And I'm gonna heat one up so that I can make like a little wrap situation. But yeah, literally just heat up a bunch of shit and mix it together. And the key is to like add ingredients for flavor, aka the cheese and pico and hot sauce. I like Tabasco sauce in it. So yeah, that's how I make my little burrito bowl at home. It's so yummy and so fucking easy. It's literally like how to make a burrito bowl for an idiot. I'm the idiot that still hasn't learned how to cook. And I said I would learn how to cook this year. It hasn't happened yet. But I do plan on making cooking videos like of me learning how to cook, like a little cooking show vibe because I really want to learn how to cook and I feel like it, it's going to be a funny process. So I do want to start doing that eventually. But for now, I cook for Dum Dums. That's what I do. I'm gonna heat it up all now and mix it all together and I'll show you the final result. I just feel like if I showed you how to do it, it would just actually be embarrassing. Cause I'd be like, okay, next you're gonna put this in the microwave and then you're gonna put this in the microwave and then you're gonna put this in the microwave. You know, it's just, we're not doing that. Okay, here's how it turned out. Literally this took me less than 10 minutes and it is very yummy. Heat it up the tortilla. When you're heating up your tortilla, make sure you put a wet paper towel down. And yeah, I'm gonna put Tabasco, mix it up. It's really fire, so that's my dinner for the night. I'm all ready for bed. I'm so happy. I'm gonna pass out right now. I'm so freaking exhausted. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me all day today. It was such a good day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.